Nigeria set to approve Shell's oil asset sale. British multinational oil and gas company Shell has decided to sell the Shell Petroleum Development Company of Nigeria Limited which owns onshore oil assets in Nigeria's Niger Delta region, where after decades of troubled business and environmental issues, here's how the company explained the move. This agreement marks an important milestone for Shell in Nigeria, aligning with our previously announced intent to exit onshore oil production in the Niger Delta, simplifying our portfolio and focusing future disciplined investment in Nigeria on our deep water and integrated gas positions. British oil giant Shell pioneered Nigeria's oil and gas business starting in the 1930s, three decades before the country gained independence from Britain. But after nearly a century of trading here, Shell on Tuesday announced sales of its onshore assets to a consortium of mainly local companies for $2.4 billion. Shell's head of upstream, Zoe Yanovich, said the sales agreement marked an important milestone for the company's bid to simplify its operations in the less challenging offshore businesses. But the move is part of a broader step back from Nigeria by Western energy companies. In recent years in a bid to make more profit for decades, Shell has struggled with hundreds of onshore oil spills resulting from operational failures, sabotage and theft. The frequent problems led to expensive running costs and attracted many lawsuits against the company. Shell says the new owner Renaissance will assume responsibility for the onshore assets as well as the spills, theft and sabotage. However, the sales will require the approval of Nigerian authorities for it to be completed. On Tuesday, human rights group Amnesty International said Shell must not be allowed to transfer ownership until authorities carry out a comprehensive review of their operations and the damages they left behind. In a post on X, the group said, Nigerian authorities must request a full assessment of existing pollution from Shell and the state of its infrastructure before approving the sales deal. Oris Village has caused deaths and affected farming and fishing industries in Nigeria's Niger Delta region. Life expectancy in the region is 41 years, 10 years lower than the national average. The epicenter of the problem is in the Agoni land, where an estimated 2 million barrels of oil spewed between 1976 and 1991. Well, Shell admitted that it spilled more than 17 million liters of crude in over a thousand separate incidents in Nigeria since 2011. As a result, 13,000 locals have filed lawsuits seeking compensation for the unwanted and uninhabitable conditions. The government says the reality could be even worse. The director of the Amnesty International and Go in Nigeria blames Shell for the vast majority of oil spills in the nation's waters. Over the years Shell has been operating in that region, the people of that region have been affected negatively. Their environment, their well-being, their water, and their ability to continue farming for their livelihood. Amnesty International has been documenting the devastation effect of the oil exploration by Shale in the Niger Delta for so many years. The United Nations Environmental Agency directed that there should be a cleanup, because the damage is too much, to a consortium comprising mostly local energy players ND Western, Arital Holdings PLC, First E&P, The Walter Smith Group, Petroleum Development Company Limited, and Petrolin. The transaction is measured at $1.3 billion, with further payments of up to $1.1 billion set to be made. The sale will come into effect following the relevant approval from government. As the voice of the African energy sector, the African Energy Chamber strongly urges the government to take a fast-tracked approach to approving the deal. Delaying the transaction will only impact the growth of the industry, and Nigeria stands to serve as an example of how the successful transfer of oil assets from an international major to local players can advance the industry. The Shell Petroleum Development Company of Nigeria Limited operates and supplies onshore and shallow water oil and gas to domestic and export markets. The company currently supplies about 10% of Nigeria's domestic natural gas as well as operates a network of 3,173 kilometers of flow lines and pipelines. Shell Petroleum Development Company of Nigeria Limited also has 263 producing oil wells, 56 producing gas wells, 6 gas plants, 2 major oil export terminals, and 1 power plant. All of these assets are held through its joint venture with the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, Total Energies, and the Nigerian Ajip Oil Company. For Shell, the transaction of these assets allows the British multinational to focus its attention on other critical assets within its portfolio. The company is looking at increasing investments in the Bongo and Ura fields, where nearly one-third of the country's deep water production is derived. Through the transaction, greater focus, capital and time can be given to these assets, resulting in both a more profitable and productive future for Shell in Nigeria. This agreement marks an important milestone for Shell in Nigeria. Meanwhile, the sale of the Shell Petroleum Development Company of Nigeria Limited to the local consortium offers several benefits, both for the consortium companies and the country as a whole. In addition to ensuring the continuous development of fields and infrastructure, the acquisition showcases the capacity of domestic Nigerian companies and will lead to enhanced job creation, revenue generation and technology transfer for the consortium itself. 
SPDC will also benefit from the expertise and experience of the local players, improving risk mitigation and greater social responsibility. The AEC strongly urges the government of Nigeria to approve the transaction, thereby transferring the onshore assets into the capable hands of the local consortium. For decades, the Chamber has been promoting the role local energy companies play in Africa's energy industry and this transaction is a strong testament to this. Local Nigerian companies will lead the next phase of the country's energy industry transformation and we look forward to the success the consortium will have in the onshore market.